U.S. tells India there will be consequences for dodging Russia sanctions. Here's a summary of the article. Dilip Singh, the U.S. Deputy National Security Advisor, warned India on Thursday, ahead of Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's meeting in the Asian country, that there will be consequences if India tries to evade Western sanctions on Moscow imposed over the Ukraine war. The Newswire reported on February 25 that India was exploring setting up rupee trade accounts with Russia to be able to continue trading with the country and avert Western sanctions. Singh, seen as one of the key architects behind the U.S. sanctions on Russia, met with Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar in New Delhi on Thursday, where they discussed economic cooperation and strategic partnership, according to a tweet by Arindam Bagchi, spokesperson for India's Ministry of External Affairs. In a session with journalists after the meeting, Singh warned against India continuing to import products from Russia since President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine on February 24. What we would not like to see is a rapid acceleration of India's imports from Russia as it relates to energy or any other any other exports that are currently being prohibited by the US or by other aspects of the international sanctions regime, Singh said, answering a question about India's decision to take up Russia's offer of discounted crude oil. I come here in a spirit of friendship to explain the mechanisms of our sanctions, the importance of joining us to express shared resolve and to advance shared interests. And yes, there are consequences to countries that actively attempt to circumvent or backfill these sanctions, he said, also noting that India and Russia are looking to get around the sanctions using their own payment system. If you set that against the reality that China and Russia have now declared a no-limits partnership, and that Russia has said that China is its most important strategic partner, by extension, that has real implications for India, Singh said. This post received a score of 43,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I thought we were selling them jets and drones too, Diego? Boeing is selling them F-15s. All the US did was give the authorization to do so. The point of them buying is to prepare for alignment in security agreements. Depends on which model of F-15 they are giving away. I highly doubt that the US will sell top-of-the-line domestic model. Most likely export variant like the ones given to Middle East countries. Don't worry it's almost rejected as India will go for rifle. Indian weapons procurement don't make any sense to me. They're buying jets from Russia by drove, but then they go and buy the Rafale. I hate to be the logistics and maintenance team for the Indian Air Force. India 1. Doesn't want to be at the mercy of any one superpower 2. Likes to do licensed production in the hope of having a domestic industry that can produce their own weapons. With domestic production, they can repair their own equipment when the original supplying country throws a tantrum and stops selling them parts. Turkey has joined the chat? Turks have been lurking all along. Source Turkish lol. Why are countries communicating like Klingon warships nowadays? You think this is countries communicating? This is politicians saying things for their own people to hear. Actual diplomacy happens behind the scenes. 100%. Governments do not need to announce their communications on the news. We are hearing this because it fits someone's agenda for us to hear it. It is propaganda regardless of its truth. Now we're going to start trying to scam them by telling them their car's extended warranty is up. Hello this is Microsoft your computer has been hacked please send me the code for a Google gift card. Exact quote from an Indian man that calls me at least three times a week. Check out Kitboga. He made a whole life out of it. Ma'am do not redeem the cards. Why did you redeem? Just wait a moment. Do one thing. Okay listen. Each an ERY thing. For one, India is a linchpin in the China containment strategy per the Quad Arrangement. Secondly, it has no economic ability to abjure from purchasing Russian oil at the discounted price, unless an even better offer emerges. Thirdly, it stands to gain zero diplomatically by making enemies with Russia, a country that has supplied nearly 70% of its armaments. As long as a better deal isn't offered to sway India's position, neutrality remains its best bet for a positive national outcome. You forget about politics. My company works for municipalities and state agencies. We have a growing overnight crew in India and Vietnam. The right circumstances and they could require us to stop doing business with India. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.